Oh, hello there. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here, Taurus. Much love. Welcome in. I really do appreciate you liking, sharing, and subscribing on this channel. So please continue to hit the like button, share the message with those you love, and to subscribe to the channel. Your support means so much. All right. <clears throat> so these are general tarot card messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All the messages may not apply to all of you, so take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly. Now let's see what's going on here. Something having to do with a water sign. A water sign in your life presently. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person is on your mind. I hear or just on your heart space or something or it is in your intention or you're focusing on this person or something like that. I do not know. Um, there's something about moving and a house and a land space, maybe some vibrations here. There is something about emotions and energy, feelings in the body flowing, expressing oneself truly. There's something about one being, one being patient, holding it in, focusing on where they are going and not wanting to be thrown off balance or off focus here. One knows their destiny. <clears throat> okay, Taurus. So, we see you maybe in devilish vibration, maybe feeling very possessive. And the word extremely possessive just came through the word extremely. Something having to do with money or just something you are cherishing at the moment. This could be talking about something you are attached to or something you're looking forward to or like, <clears throat> like expecting or relishing or hoping for. It's that energy of waiting for the food to finish cooking so that you can eat it or waiting for the mango to ripe on the tree like being impatient it's almost like being impatient or on the border of impatience to feel a desire or to feel satisfied for something something uh, to be over or to be complete or to be established um, with the Queen of Wands here, um, maybe something, some temper or someone who is a leader or this person has a vision. It's the energy of an empress that is deciding to pick her village back up. You know, she's leading in a way where I feel her village has been like the people need her help, really. This fire sign. And <clears throat> so she's investing emotions, but she really has to be passionate about where she's going. She has a strong vision here, she. And this person is leading, but behind what is being carried is like this village that needs to be fixed. It's the energy, you know the movie Tears of the Sun with Bruce Willis. And he's not altogether strong, but he's carrying the village with him as it is his village. You know what I mean? To heal, to fix, to bring into well-being. It's this person that has decided to take a leadership role. This person not only is leading... They're not in a, this person also has emotions, like this person knows the village, like this person could be the mother of the village, you know. So it's not just a soldier vibration, it's also a motherly energy where this person wants to bring, um, like maybe this person used to nurse, oh maybe, you know, there was a nurse actually in that movie as well and she wanted to bring the village. I don't know what that has to do with this really. But she knows the village in and out and she really wants to to fix it, to heal it. We have someone moving because of fear. 
Uh, maybe someone sad or running, just moving quickly, like running away, I feel. Someone running away, perhaps someone being betrayed or stabbed in the back or being stolen from. Like a bit of sadness or depression and so there's something that needs to be moved. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Earth energy, something, I mean air energy, something happening very quickly. <clears throat> Amidst this pain though, Taurus, there is new beginnings, there is movement, so that's beautiful. So something is happening despite there being sadness or betrayal or whatever you want to consider it, being lonely or left in the rain to cry all alone to pick yourself up. Even though for me the Tree of Swords card is a very powerful vibration in Tarot, it looks like broken heart and all these things, sadness. In plain card, it looks like this. It's look. It looks like stability movement building foundations creating your own identity becoming self-aware so even though you go through hard times you know what i mean it makes you self-aware it makes you stronger okay so you can look at it as a sad sad as sadness but it's like you grow rough you grow rough and um it has built so many other beautiful things in you and with the ten of swords this may be the, the eclipse or the ending of the eclipse, the ending of your suffering, you know. And this could be based upon some feelings that you still have left in you, maybe of not having enough. Maybe wanting to possess a lot of things or like you're holding on to money or storing it, not wanting to spend or maybe you're overspending. Maybe you're spending on... CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. Things, habits, attachments, ideas, promises. Over on Euro, we see the Ten of Cups, something about happiness, a home, a lifestyle, a Pisces, water sign, maybe your parents. A love, a home, having to do with a higher intuition, a higher knowledge, really introspecting, um, maybe working out of higher consciousness, higher awareness. Okay, I feel like you're also a very emotionally grounded person too. You have a vision, you're going for the bags. There's something about the t twinning it up here, like doubling it up whoa the six you're hustling i feel like you're working you're giving you're being of service you feel valuable or you're working on your valuable feelings inside i feel like that has come by the three of swords energy had maybe caused you to get into the six of pentacles energy which is maybe going through sadness had caused you or disappointment to to learn how to to become an earner Having going through feelings of not having enough has made you uh, familiar with hustling or just becoming innovative. Okay, the King of Cups once more. Could be someone you love. This could be a parent, a father energy. Maybe this person is heading in your life where this is you becoming a father. Who knows? Maybe that you're saving up for something like that. Maybe you're saving to move or to relocate. To exchange. Exchange something, a gift. Um, a feeling, your appearance, your attire, your well-being, your mindset. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to change almost everything about your life now. Starting with your mind, the set. Yeah. 
So, yeah, we see pentacles coming in. That's what else for Taurus from the playing cards for this week? Any other relevant person? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe there is. Someone you have, there's a relationship with this person that's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you're reuniting or uniting with this person. And so Pisces, Scorpio. Alright, so let's see what you should know for the week. For the rest of the week. What should Taurus know? Any update? Um, what should Taurus know for the week? Has to do with I thought money and finance, but there's a shift here. I feel it has to do with home, country, people, friendship, love, people that make you laugh and feel good, good energies around you, you standing up for yourself, standing in your power. It could have to do with a marriage. It could have to do with you really saving your energy to yourself. Um, refusing offers or using your discernment more in this week. There's someone could be offering you something and you're going to Maybe refuse it. Decide to stay by yourself. You may be putting out more effort in work this week, I feel, too, because you have a goal. You're getting somewhere. You're, you're in the momentum. I feel like you could be going for something greater as well. Okay, so you could be... There could be new relationships coming up for you. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or just any relationships that is emo that's emotionally based coming up. For you, someone could be offering you something, a gift, and you may refuse, or this is you offering someone something about connection, and they may refuse from you too. That's how it's going to go. Also, I see you're going to be feeling contentment, especially in your home, in your space of abode. Like just feeling relaxed, all right? That's going to be good for you. Like a feeling of your dream come true, just being in a state of satisfaction and really, you know, just allowing yourself to feel good about new things coming into you. It's going to be okay. I also feel like just try not to be too rushed because I see heightened emotions. Here with the seven of wands, feeling like you're standing up for yourself. You have to be defending yourself and all of that. Um, you're going to there are going to be favors around you from your spirits, your guides, and your angels around you. So look out for that. You're going to have some things to choose from. So like you're going to be having options, some emotional things that you're attached to. So look out for just feelings of sentiments popping up that's what i'm saying so this, you're going to be feeling just because it's a lot of hearts here so just allow yourself to feel to feel good and to feel love or whatever that energy will be for you as i said satisfaction okay you could i feel like you're going to be successful in something that you're trying to achieve maybe that's why you're going to be feeling happy all right something about business or you're negotiating here you're going to be like putting your offer on the table or something but and you could be successful so just be patient be hopeful about the situation all right i feel like you are actually you have the upper hand in the situation with the seven of wands you know yeah and it's also it's it's, it's a card of success for you like you have the upper hand okay so you may be feeling like this intense emotions, but use it well, use it confidently. Oh, you see, you're going to get something new. You're going to get an offer, maybe a new position. Okay. Um, keep striving for what you want, believe in what you want. Okay. The sun energy here, success, abundance, materially, emotionally love on you there's going to be some offering of love or forgiveness or apology or someone expecting that from you 
Earth sign, I mean, fire sign, water sign here. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something new. Like you're going to be expecting this new beginning. And it's coming in. A lot of love here. Oh, you may be meeting your soulmate. I don't know. Someone who is your soulmate. This is beautiful. It's once again, um, maybe fire sign or water sign. This person may be coming back around to you. Or so who is this Jack of Hearts? For Taurus, who's this Jack of Hearts? I don't know, maybe this person is sorry. Maybe they've been working, working on themselves, working on their business. Fire sign, maybe this person is attracted to you, been watching you. Maybe it's between two people here, a fire sign. <laughs> maybe it's between a fire sign and a water, a fire sign and a water sign. I don't know. Two young people, two different messages. Three, it could be three, who knows? And um, so maybe one is at work or and one is at home or but then this Queen of Cups is here. I don't know if the Queen of Cups is your real soulmate or this is as I say parents because I see young people and then I see parents involved. What is the nine of ones? So the nine of wands is something that that is what is being possessed or harvest or waited for someone is waiting for something it's like ordering something and waiting for it to arrive so you're waiting maybe you're going to be spending because of that um something about money or somebody you're protecting someone is protecting something flowers maybe something flowers something plant something growing Watching over it and so who's the king of cups? The two, the one that the the it's almost like two these are two soulmates, I don't know, wanting to come together like ding. It's like you know in Hotel Transylvania, it's that zing, but to me it's more like ding with that light. Like two destinies coming together, meeting in the middle. Two of the same people coming together. It's having to do with this flower. And I hear a Martian. Are you serious? A Martian. They say men are from Mars. The five of cups. Girls are from where? Venus. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, Taurus. A lot. Like someone, it could be you that loves someone and wants to go make an offering. Or you admire another person. Um, I don't know. What is the four of pentacles? It has to do with money, work flowing in your heart, someone blocking something or denying a connection, something about money or a business or about well being, having a vision, denying a vision. So that's your week. I hope these messages inspire you, Taurus. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the message with those you love. I'll see you in the next one. Remember that you're all and all is within you. Take care. Bye. A pleasure doing your reading, my darling. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.